Hey guys, this is gonna be a short video handling my feathered leg for the first time. Moved him to a smaller enclosure because I didn't like um, that big enclosure and I like to change it up a lot. Um, after molt, I like to um, let the tarantula start over again. I don't know why, but I just do. But yeah, let's see after the feathered legs molt. It's really fair size. Actually, really calm because it didn't bolt it or anything so I'm gonna just put him back or her up to her bolty bolty not a good thingy my fair leg actually um, does a thread posture um, frequently. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, sorry guys for not so that you can't see anything, but we have a problem. We have a problem. I don't know how that happened, but it just happened. So, um, just hold on a few minutes. Yeah, sorry guys, it's gonna be my baddest video ever. Got him off? Actually, it didn't take me that long, so I'm just gonna. Close him off because he's a douche again. Actually, bit me. I'm allergic to uh, tarantula venom, especially old world. I'm on my way to the hospital. Yes, I I I think it's a dry bite, but because it's a uh, old world, I don't think it's a dry bite. But yeah, got him off. Um, I'm a squished him because he thinks he's smart and just doesn't want to come off my chin. And then, yeah. Mm, so, yeah, I'm just gonna leave him around. I'm gonna try that until he's juvenile because as they get older, they don't really bolt as much as they as they are sling. But this is the molt of my feather leg. See, rare, fairly small, but nice size now. I shouldn't handle them ever again because they all will be really unpredictable. They can, anything can happen anytime. So yeah, I actually had a, something. Mm, yeah, that's kind of what happens if they ha bite me. Yeah, pretty painful. No, I'm joking. I had a long day and I at a water park and I didn't wear a shirt so I can get girls. I'm joking. Just wore a shirt. Didn't wear a shirt the whole day long. From 8 o'clock to half. Half. Uh, half past 5. Yeah. So now I look like this for all day. And some. Of them popped when I moved, and I almost cried because it was painful. So yeah, I'm gonna give you. A, uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna give you an update. This is my red rump, just chilling there. That's ground, but it's just chilling. Oh, I've never handled them here before, really. Mm, I was a decent size now. Can't wait until the next molt. And I'm sure I didn't molt yet, but it's really close. You can see his abdomen is really, really, really dark. 
so I'll, I'll report a uh, molt pretty soon and clear and gecko yeah you didn't post in a while um yeah as you can see two eggs and the gecko yeah just show you bird eater and then you can go on with your lives if you don't want to watch my videos please subscribe here's bird eater i call him bird eater because i don't really give i don't really care about the names and all, and all that you can see there's spinning webs everywhere not everywhere i just moved these two because there was full of molt and i was pissed and yeah it's also in pre -mult. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, you can see. But yeah, his abdomen is really large, bold spot, but it didn't start going gray yet. So yeah, I hope it's a successful molt because it's day. But as they get older, they take longer to molt. So kind of expected some point. Cause it's not as big as Curlier is now, and after this mold, it'll be even bigger. So I this size is about um, eleven centimeters, and it might grow at uh, two or one point five. I don't really know. You can't because you can't really ever tell. Anywhere, beautiful tarantula grows fast. Or not fast, but he grows big, big. I believe this is the second largest spider on earth. So, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe and leave a like. You don't have to leave a like, but just subscribe. Because that helps me a lot. And tell your friends and your friends and your friends' mother and friends' mother. So, yeah. Goodbye. Ciao.